What is going on today guys and today it is Step On A Gaming and we are going to be taking a look at the OnePlus One. So this is a brand new phone by the company called the OnePlus. Uh, they are an independent company, you know, not too popular, nothing like that. Um, but what I want to talk about really is I don't want to go into all the basically the details of the specs. I'm basically going to talk about it after having it for a week. Um, I noticed there's a lot of videos and they're talking about when they had the invite system or right after that. And they've actually made some really big changes since then. So we're going to take a look really quick. And I'll just go through my software quick. So as you can see here, I just changed my wallpaper because uh, an update came out. And it makes it look more like stock Android. So, you know, it has all those simple interfaces that stock Android, you know, usually has. Um, and I really like it because it gives it a different feel. But you can also go... And let's say you don't like the theme or anything of that sort. They actually have something called a theme shop. And they actually updated it. So now you can search between premium ones, which are paid for, and uh, free ones, which you don't have to pay for. Which, you know, basically just changes the way it looks. It doesn't change anything in the system. Like, it's not going to rearrange all your settings. It's just going to change the skins of the icons and apps, which is a really cool thing to add. And another cool thing is the camera is actually pretty good on the phone, as you guys can kind of see here, uh, looking at my ugly face. You can kind of look. You can kind of get a gist of how nice the camera is. Um, so you know, we'll just take a picture quick. Kind of look at it. So you can kind of tell. I took a picture before with my camera. So we have a couple pictures of the grass. You know, I took a picture of my kitchen or my living room, I should say. Um, so you know, the pictures are rather good on the camera. But the cool part is actually the video is actually rather well because of the audio. So there is three microphones on the phone, which is kind of impressive. So there's one on the top here, along with the aux cable cord. And then you have a microphone on the back. And then you have a microphone down below. And also on the bottom you have uh, two speakers. And then you have a micro USB, which is kind of nice. You have the volume rocker here. Uh, wake sleep button here. And, you know, when you're taking a video, the sound is actually really good on the phone because, you know, you have three microphones. Or when you're in a phone call, you know, you want to call somebody, uh, the audio is really good on it as well. So let's just go into a couple of the settings that have been changed. So, you know, a couple things are cool. You know, you have all these settings, blah, blah, blah. But the cool thing is basically this. So when I go, you can go here, the audio. So, you know, let's, let's play some music. And you have this cool audio thing that allows you to kind of change the way music is listened to, which is kind of a nice thing to have. Um, let's go in here quick and go to here. And let's go to... Let's go to YouTube quick. So you can go to YouTube. Um, as you can tell, you know, everything looks pretty good. So let's just go here. Alright, so we're going to get out of that video, but you can see the, uh, the actually the colors on this phone are either actually pretty good. You know, the yellows and the blues and the turquoise and the orange, you know, they all pop out pretty well. The screen is 100% amazing on it. Um, I love the whole interface where there's a button here. I like the buttons on the bottom because, you know, you don't really, they don't really, like, you know when they're like really annoying and they light up, but they're kind of faded, as you can see here, you know, they're kind of faded, you can't really see them, but they're nice. If you know, if you're familiar with Android, you know, they'll, they'll appear at night. They have an ambient light sensor right here, which, you know, tells it whether it's, you know, time or not. So, you can go here, you know, change your widgets around. If you want to change some widgets, you know, customize your phone. That's something really cool about Android that a lot of phones don't have. You know, is the customization features of everything. You know, you can just switch between themes. So, I'll we'll just go to a couple of my themes right here. So, you can go to regular system Android. You can go to app themer. You can change things that you don't like. You know, all cool things like that. Alright guys, so this is the OnePlus One review after a week, you know, without the invite-only system. So this is all the things they basically changed of the phone. Thank you guys.